Yeah. Right, Jelly Baby named the squirrel Aura. So this is the second day and she's having a morning feed. She had feeds in at night, but now she's having a morning feed. As you can see, she's very sleepy. But she's doing good. I'll wake her up and she's been peeing and pooping good. Her, this little leg's a little swollen. Her little leg's a little swollen. So yeah. her leg probably got a bit swollen falling out of the tree. This is what I was saying yesterday. You never know if they kind of injured themselves. Or maybe a bug got her while yeah. she was lying on the ground. Yeah. Maybe some fire ants or something. But little things like that can be quite detrimental to baby animals. She's been a little resistant. Yeah, because they well, you've got to be really it. careful feeding them with a syringe because... You can put a lot in very quickly because I can. This is quite a good pressure. syringe because you can just uh, drip it out. It's quite controlled. But yeah. some syringes, especially as they get older, stick. And then uh, that's not any good. Then you can feed her. Yeah, why aren't you using She's the getting eyedropper bigger this and bigger. Yeah, uh, because that eyedropper wasn't holding the liquid. It didn't have a good seal. Yeah, we'll have to get some more. But yeah, I just got this one. This is a new uh, syringe and it's working good. And she's big enough for a syringe. But she just, uh, she's, she still has, you can actually see through their tummy and see she still has a little milk in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, her tummy's kind of transparent but... and you can see the little stomach filling up, which is quite good because it's very important not to overfeed them. Yeah, better to give them lots of little feedings than one big feeding. Yeah. Actually. How is she from the dehydrated point of view today? Well, funnily enough, I didn't go with it back out. As she's been, well, I guess it is retracting. A little dehydrated still. She's had quite a lot of uh, fluids. This is actually the first feeding um, that I've upped Mommy, the she milk. she is so cute. So you slowly mix the Pedialyte with the milk to uh so it doesn't shock their system because if you feed them when they're dehydrated um it can kill them so pedialyte is like a water with electrolytes, electrolytes and stuff in it to rehydrate them so uh oh, she, yeah, she had a baby. really diluted milk through the night it was basically water but she didn't seem to just like the water so what kind of milk uh, this is actually goat milk mixed with it right now. Is that better? Can you use cow's milk? Um, I know some people that have used like cow's milk and cream, but it's not supposed to be very good for them. Goat milk, if you can get it, is supposed to be pretty decent for them. But we use the Fox Valley formula, but um, we didn't have a lot of formula left. A baby, that has so the uh, the formula arrives tomorrow. Strip it in there. Sometimes she wants it and Don't sometimes that, she doesn't. This is so people can see how she's doing. Little Aura. Yeah, most squirrels we've had uh, rescued just lap the milk down. She's been a bit resistant to it though. She keeps getting covered in milk. Well, I... But that's not unusual no. the first day or so. No, because they uh, take is... a while to uh, get used to. Uh, drinking in a different way yeah often i put soft nipples on the end of this but um they were a bit thick the ones i had might have to go get some little kitten nipples maybe a little balloon papa what? you can't get a balloon why not because we have to pop one so we can make a your bandage yeah, she's just getting right. covered in milk She's not wanting to be fed right now. She's going to need another bath. She's already had like three baths, haven't you? Got you nice and clean. She's peeing and pooping good. And she has a soft spot for scratches right here. Will we please hold her? Not right now. Oh, a little hold her. We have just a low heating pad. It's actually for growing plants so when I use it, it raises the ambient temperature about 10 degrees so it just keeps oh, yeah. it baby bean not right now you gotta listen baby bean when animals are that small they don't want too much handling 
You understand? And we gotta be very careful. She doesn't aspirate any milk. Alright. We'll do an updated video later. Can you turn that down, sweet pea? So, looks like she's eating a bit better now. Just dripping it Sometimes in. Sometimes you there. just have to be kind of persistent, but not too pushy. Yeah, I mean, you can see the syringe is a bit deceiving because it looks huge next to her, but there was only a teaspoon of milk in here. <laughs> Just dripping it in. That's good. Yeah, and sometimes uh, stimulating to go pee in the middle of a feeding can wake them up a bit. She just had a big pee. 